Okay, so I've gone over uh, scientific principles about how babies learn, and I've gone over the importance of early language and early reading skills. In future talks, I'm going to be talking about how you can apply these principles in your own home. I do want to just mention what would happen if people applied these principles and if they taught their children language skills early on. According to research, all of these principles that I've just been talking about, each one by itself increases language learning. So there would be a large increase in language learning if you're applying all of these principles. Um, a professor from a UC, University of California campus, says that illiteracy could be eliminated if we would teach written language during infancy. Um, if you teach your babies more language skills, according to research from Stanford University, they will have faster brain processing speeds. If they have faster brain processing speeds, then additional learning will also be easier for them. So because early learning is the main pathway for upward mobility, social mobility, there would be more prosperity in the world if we would teach babies more language skills. So please, uh, no matter how busy you are, just remember this goes by very quickly. And there's one short little window where your baby can learn language skills, and then it gets increasingly difficult to learn at a high level. Yes, I could theoretically still learn Mandarin, but it would take decades of work, and I, was, I will never learn at the level of a two-year-old who was introduced uh, to Mandarin during infancy, so uh, as a native speaker. So please teach your child early on. A Nobel Prize winning economist found that uh, if you look at the green on this graph, if you look to the very far left, that would be birth. And then if you look to the far right, that would be as people are older. So you see the age down at the bottom. In green, it's uh, before, uh, from, from birth to about age three. In the very first year of life, the return on your investment in time, energy, and money is greater than 10 to 1 in many of the programs. It's greater than 12 to 1. So in other words, for every hour you invested, you would get 12 hours back. For every dollar or pound or euro or, or whatever the currency is invested, you would get 12 of them back. By the time the child is five years old, it's about one to one. So every dollar invested would return about one dollar. Where do we spend as a society most of our resources on education? It's after that, when the return on the investment is not nearly as great. So we're spending a lot of money and the return we're getting is not as great as if we would focus more on babies. So I'm hoping that all of you will focus on how your babies learn and on early learning. Again, my name is Dr. Bob Titzer. Thank you very much for watching. Tune in more for additional videos in the future. Thank you.